Edvard Grieg Piano Concerto in A Minor, Opus 16, performed by Julia Fischer, coming up in 30 seconds. Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Matt Criscuolo coming to you up close and personal. I'm going to be doing another classical uh, reaction, which I happen to love classical music, especially the romantic uh, composers. I, I like uh, Edvard Grieg, I like uh, Chopin, I like Rachmaninoff and all those guys. So, um, because I'm a big romantic. And by the way, this came requested by a, a lovely lady named Rose. Rose, this is going out to you. I hope you enjoy this very much. I'm very excited about this, so let's get right to it, shall we? This conductor's name is Matthias Pinscher. Pinscher. Edvard Grieg. Let me tell you a little bit about Edvard Grieg before we go further, okay? He was a Norwegian composer and pianist. He was widely considered one of the uh, main Romantic era composers, and his music is a part of standard classic repertoire worldwide. Uh, I love the way he started off this composition. I thought it was amazing. Uh, very strong statement, right? Like, really grabs your attention. And I'm looking at the piano, and I'm trying to figure out, is that a Steinway or a Busendorfer or something like that, a Fazioli? I can tell you I have an 1893 Steinway B that I own, and I use it to write music on, because I'm not a pianist like this. I can't do that. Uh, but I write music on it, and what a treat it is. And that's when Edvard Grieg was alive, from 1843 to 1907. So who knows? Maybe he played my piano. <laughs> Woo! How do you like that? Hmm.
Love, you know all that chromatic. You know, there's no lyrics. You know, it's that type of music. It's instrumental classical music. It's, uh, it's um, leaves it up to the imagination as to what the music is making you feel. Uh, at least that's the way I look at this. And what I'm also uh, observing is, uh, is the conductor Matias. What a joy he must be experiencing to to be up there conducting this. This incredible young, by the way, young orchestra, obviously, they're young people, uh, which reminds me of when I used to go to Manhattan School of Music as a student, being so passionate and so into the music and, you know, into my instrument and trying to, you know, learn everything I can and soak it all up and hear these guys, what a thrill they must be uh, experiencing to be in this orchestra playing this music like this. And by the way, what I was saying was for Matias, the conductor, man, it's like having a Bugatti Veyron and touching that gas pedal and being able to go as fast as you want instantly, all the power you need, and then hit those brakes and bam, stops that car because it's got that kind of performance to it. And that's what this, that's what he's got here is a super high performing, you know, incredible group uh, orchestra that he can just, you know, stop on a dime man and just have them go up and, and do whatever he wants and that's what's so great about being a conductor i would imagine uh back to the music shall we What is that saying? Woo! Hold on a second. I'm going to rewind that just a little bit. Hopefully I can get to it. There was some note there that had so much beautiful tension built into it, intentionally, obviously, by the composer, uh, but to create that uh, mystery, that that wonderment, that question mark, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, that's what I love about composing music is that you can take the listener on a ride, you know, on this journey. So let's see if I can get back further enough where we can hear that.
Are you kidding? Hold on a second. So, you know, the way, you know the way, when you hear those little, those little dark tones, you know, those little passing or or those little passing tones, which which almost sound wrong. They sound wrong. They're like, what? It doesn't seem to fit. I'm trying to put it in ways that maybe most people would understand. Those little passing notes. Those are very intentionally placed there. They're very intentionally placed there to uh, manipulate our feelings and make us feel certain ways. Of course, he's expressing the composer's expressing himself, uh, but it's you know this is that's relationship that's going on there, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I love that stuff because I like the unpredictable. I like it when they throw when a composer throws it in there and was like, "Really? Are you really doing that to me?" Woo! 
I'm going to pause it there because I think for the sake of making this reaction video, I'm not going to make it the, the longest, too long of a video. I'll go back and I'll do a second uh, version of, I mean, a, a continuation, a to be continued. I also want to mention something, by the way. If you like coffee, you might want to, oh, wow, it's not coming through very good. But if you like coffee, this stuff right here, that's uh, they, this company called JV sent me. Um, uh, and uh, to try it out, I got to tell you, it, it packs a serious caffeine punch. But it's basically concentrated coffee extract. And it's just got coffee in it. That's all. There's no no bull, there's no crap in there. It's just straight up coffee. And they call it the micro dose. You put a couple of teaspoons in some hot or cold water or whatever other you know liquid you want to put it in. That's all I do with it is water. And uh, voila, you got coffee. So instead of, I was drinking instant coffee in powder form every once in a while because that's, I'm okay with that. But uh, they make it in regular and decaf and it's really, really good. And if you look in the description below, by the way, you'll see that. Um, guys, I, I, I got to tell you, man, I, I, I do love this type of music. It, it's got so many different uh, f elements of the music that it uses and keeps me personally very interested. Um... The, and, and there's so much more to use. I mean, it's just a composition. It's, you know, it's one of many. Um, you know, like rhythmically, this this particular music is not quite maybe as adventurous as some other music might be. Uh, but and, and harmonically, you know, it's still ad, adventurous. But I mean, you're probably wondering, why is Matt even talking about like adventure in the music? Well, you know, I, I, what I'm trying to illustrate in, is that there are so many... The music is deep, you know. There's so many colors you can use, so many rhythms you can use, uh, and 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 give the music a lot of interest and variety. Doesn't matter in this case, you know. This was a statement. It was this was what Edvard Grieg wanted to do, and boy, is it hugely impacting. It stood the test of time. We you you recognize the sound. Ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -dum. You know, we all have heard that maybe in a Tom and Jerry uh, uh, or some kind of a cartoon. I'm 50. So I remember this kind of stuff, even in cartoons when I was a kid. But um, wow, Rose, thank you so much for requesting it. I love it. And when I look at the when I the, the, the nature of the piano, like so many instruments, but if you look at the piano, if you were to take away the sound and just watch her and just listen to. If you were to take away the tone from her hitting those keys and all you heard was just percussive noise, you'd hear that it was very interesting rhythmically as well. And so that's what the piano to me is also. It's it's like the xylophone. You know the xylophone, the vibraphone, the xylophone when the when he plays with the sticks and the mallet, the mallets, and he's playing and he's getting tone, but he's also in a way playing the drums. So he's got to kind of play. He's playing rhythm and harmony, or rhythm and tone at the same time. And in this case, we've got rhythm, harmony, tone, everything. The piano is just a beast. What a wonderful instrument, man. Uh, just love it so much. Just love, loved it so much, and I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to uh, review, to react to this, not review it, react to it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, please. If you like uh, any merchandise, check that out. You can see that too. And don't forget this uh, JV coffee. It's in the description. If you're a coffee drinker, you got to try this out. Just give it a shot. If you don't like it, you know it's no. Sh n n no, no big deal, but um, but but uh, I love it, and I think you'll love it as much as I do. At any rate, guys, hey, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy, and if it's real easy, take it twice.